Um, the original founders, uh, Larry Harvey and Larry something. Anyways, they they were talking with uh, with the police, and they said, "Okay, you can build it. You can you can you, know, you can assemble it and and have it up on the beach, and you all can party, but you cannot set it on fire." And apparently the crowd of hippies that had gotten very used to this happening um, got a little pissy over it and became became uh, rather unruly. That's just, that's all they say. It be, <laughs> the, the hippies became unruly. <laughs> I want more detail, but I'm not going to get it. I can tell. Yeah, they were smoking the wrong kind of weed. <laughs> Just like Perfect was back in the day. I think so. I've told you about him. The dude who is, he's definitely a hippie. Every time I've met this dude, he's worn a tie-dye shirt. He, he just, he was always high. And when we would game with him, Halo would piss him off. Because more than once, you would hear him screaming and cursing and then silence. And somebody else in the chat would go, I got a text from Perfect. He broke his headset again. <laughs> he broke headsets and controllers. Okay, I don't know what weed you're smoking, but you need to get something stronger. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Time to maybe finish the main story of this game? We shall see. All right. This is just the perfect place to have a beer and chill right here. That's just It'd be better without those stupid windmills, but yeah. yeah it's, it's perfect. A few yards away from the grave of a dead Viking. Hi, Eivor. How you been? Dead? Yeah. Sounds about right. See? <laughs> Base game, she didn't have a sword right there next to the body. Right there. Sword. It gone. Uh, please know the signal beneath it. Signal was a code. Let us precise spot here in New England. We dug and good lord, we struck gold. Well, silver, dominant currency in the Dark Ages. Point is, it was a grave site. A Norse warrior dating to the late 9th century, early 10th century AD, a few centuries before the earliest known settlements. This is big news if we have it right. Questions remain How did these bones get here and why? Um, because the Scandinavians explored everywhere. <laughs> they got here on a ship. <laughs> I promise. They were spent quite a lot of time with them now, and together with Hy Gives us a clear picture of the hidden ones of the 9th century. They are recognizable as assassins in all but name, which makes me think they evolved quite naturally into what we know from Altair's time. The word assassin comes from the Arabic word for hash smokers, hashashin. Uh, it may be the hidden ones adopted this epithet as a mark of pride more than anything, turning an insult into a mark of pride. Curiously, I do remember one passing reference in some of the old literature about Hytham being one of the first assassins back in England after the exodus around 430 AD. 
I should contact our London Bureau for Edward Kenway's papers. Had he read about this early assassin? Is that why he named his son as he did? It seems likely. Ooh. I remember reading these. The Yggdrasil Chamber. Lila has located a new Isu temple, the Yggdrasil Chamber, for lack of a better term. She's there now, searching for a way to slow it down and return the world to some sense of normalcy. Many pieces now fall into place. The theory emerges. In 2012, Desmond Miles managed to activate a network of Isu temples and devices in such a way that it amplified the Earth's magnetic field, one that shielded us from the mass coronal ejection that should have dealt civilization a fatal blow. But in the eight years that have passed, it appears that this magnetic field has been growing ever stronger. And now the cure to what ailed us becomes the disease. The magnetic field that saved us threatens us all over again. But what is driving this increase? This Yggdrasil machine, a simulation device not unlike our animus, but perhaps fed on calculations, not memories, seems to be an overclocked state, for lack of a better term. What is the cause of this? Only Lila can tell us for sure. So many questions. I eagerly await her return. Alfred! Oh, crap. Oh, King Alfred. Okay. King Alfred. <laughs> A.K.A. Alfred Rex. <laughs> Alfred the Great. What do we know about him? Famous for his holy visions of uniting all the kingdoms of England? One country under one rule? Sort of a United Nations of England, maybe. Or just England. He never saw this vision come to fruition, though he laid the foundation for it. Too busy fighting Vikings. Strangely, Shakespeare never wrote a play about Alfred and the Vikings. Missed opportunity, that. Now is the summer of our peace and calm. Made calamorous winter by this loon of Jorvik. <laughs> that, yeah, missed opportunities. <laughs> so many missed opportunities. Somebody go back and tell, <laughs> tell that weirdo to do this. But oh well, too late now. Order of the Ancients. The more we see of the Order of the Ancients, the less they resemble the Templars as we know them today. How did this evolution take place? Is this older order was obsessed with their, our Isu precursors? They worshipped them as gods, aspired to their status and power, and coveted the, their works and weapons. In the name of order, yes. But with a very strict hierarchy that placed the Isu well above humankind. Fulke, nicknamed the instrument, has also wielded that term as an adjective. She believed that humans were deeply flawed lesser beings meant to serve. <clears throat> the Templars believe in man, a more admirable approach, I will admit. Could it be the modern instruments of the first will represent some sort of return to the distant past? A revival of a dead order? Did they never truly vanish? Don't know. Ooh, what do we got here? Well, we know they screwed up as soon as they started associating with the cult of Cosmos. <laughs> Note regarding Cassandra. This must be a first. Eivor actually met Cassandra. This means that Lila, as an Animus host, met a previous Animus host in the simulation. Could Lila have noticed anything odd in the Animus brought on by Cassandra's sudden appearance? Not only that, but could the staff have sensed Lila's presence as its current keeper? I have so many questions for her. Norse settlements in England. Yeah. Must send a team to excavate that settlement. Location discovered through Lila simulation. River Nine. Nene? Nine? I don't know. Uh, near modern Leicestershire. Will we find bodies, grave goods, evidence of war? Plenty of precedent to go on here. Most towns in England ending with Thorpe and by were founded by Norse warriors. Even York comes from Jorvik, a Norse mutation of Eofwick. Efferwick. Oh, Efferwick, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Languages <laughs> and pronunciations. I can't do them well sometimes, but they bug me when I get them wrong. Anyway, continuing. 
evolution works on all levels, on humans, on language. We know that the language of the settling Norse was a close cousin of the Old English spoken by the Saxons. In this way, they were mutually intelligible, in the most basic ways at least. This would account for the rapid success of the Norse when conquering and integrating with the locals. Shower thought. If the Americans still spoke English, they could invade UK with similar success. They do still speak English, damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say, us. since when did we stop speaking English? <laughs> Actually, have you spoken to somebody, a normal person nowadays? Eh. <laughs> Valid point. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Oh, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Max. So, how do we start this? Seriously. Laptop. Okay. We'll look at some cool stuff. Ooh, what do we got in media? AA frag. Oh, great. This is some of the. Oh, that can't be good. Secure share. When destruction threatens before us, solar flares. Okay. I am not going through all of those because I know there's a ton of stuff in there. Okay. So we're supposed to be leaving. Let's talk to him. I'm ready. It's a long way to Bean Town. Hop in. Onward to Baston. And then I guess to Norway? I think I would like to go to Norway. I think it'd be cool to visit. I know this isn't there. Well, Sean? I'm fairly certain this isn't there. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. got a patch what level did she get to on phasmophobia her patch looks a lot cooler than ours well she's also been an assassin and uh, well not to say she's been a, a Spartan and a Viking so she gets to be cooler Wow, he sounds like you. It, it's just, but I, 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 I. The elevator still works. Uh, Rude. Years. What's another millennium or two? Take it up with Discord. <laughs> or you're in a provider. It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's going to go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonic At that point, it doesn't matter. Theory. Degrees are degrees, don't the they? Celsius or Fahrenheit. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. Shit, you're breaking up, Sean. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Here we go. Give it a bit. 
Okay, I'll be honest, this place looks a lot cooler in red. Yeah, it does. And red's typically not my color, but I'll make an exception here. There you are. You're working overtime. Um. That must have collapsed and the ice melted. Okay. We. Steady. Pool of water from all that melted ice. Climb up here. Okay, what's well, below the water? Ah, the way through. I guess around. that ho, ho, ho. yeah that would bug me in person <laughs> I'm not terrified of heights like I was when I was a kid but still be very uncomfortable One more. Up we go. Gotta give the Isu this. They built things to last. They did, but they clearly needed a visitation by Osh. <laughs> well, they were essentially gods, so... Guess they weren't worried about it. Cross, cross. Up we go. I don't know why it just popped into my head. I want to see Batman just zip line past her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just what was that? That would that would <laughs> tick her off so much. Why would anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? Valhalla is glitching out. Oh shit. Um. Can we still go through here? Anywhere? Nope. 
is this? We're in Valhalla while playing Valhalla. Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? Oh, shit. Him. They flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Bassem, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together, for another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. You're a dick. Stop. Fight everything. Run it again. Layla. Hello. Yes, through the calculations I read here in the grave. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. Damn. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world 
from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limited. How do you mean? What if you went back further? 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insight. Sounds like something Layla. that uh, it's only the Sherlock Holmes we would say. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation, it will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course. Fuck. All right. Find a solution together. However long it takes. That means I can never leave. So be it. I owe this to the people I, I hurt. To the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place.
What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world that you'll have. Take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you, you left her there. This, this is all a bit much, I know. I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. <laughs> I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. You're gonna try and kill him, aren't you? Like to these, these Templars, <sighs> as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. <sighs> A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. Uh, that's not ominous at all. And you know, unless his children are some sort of race of him, they're probably dead and he's not gonna take that well. He keeps speaking like he's uh, one of the Isu. We invented such things. In my day, the whole world was connected. Yeah. <sighs> That He's clearly in a relationship with uh, Alice Diaz. As a thought yeah. interface? Do I really have to use my hands and voice? Mm, magical. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all garbage must be packed out. And please water the plants once a day. Poor little plant. I looked like you not long ago. <laughs> Hold tight, love. 
a new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings, there is nothing we cannot achieve. Okay, after having actually seen more of him, I'm not sure if the, the next game is going to be take long to him remembering his past, most. or him as the villain and so they're trying to figure help. out more about him. Great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. You are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I am... Uh, Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Rangri? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy words can jade. 
Their souls will sound in a heartful song. And when... You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean deep my words gave wings. Oh, in speed I fall will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We reach and blaze our trail of breath. To fight for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty horn. For we who fight, for we who fall. Okay. Almost 350. Nice. Database. Locations. It's so. Dalby Forest. to get the max capacity on the rations? Sigurd. Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly. But our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, 
We will grow together. And I'm glad for you both. And for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. story I think it should mean I can go and get Gungnir Should be up here somewhere. Hey! Oh, this side. Man your oars. Sail up. Gotta go around there anyway. Okay. I'm 
There is Mjolnir. And I gotta go and find some other people for that. Really should give me a fast travel point to get in here, but I guess I'm not surprised. Come on, you.
Okay. Up we go. Cave, traverse tunnels, keep to the left. Find the spear stuck in a wall. Shift back to England. How are you hiding that spear under the cloak? England. Oh, that's too much stuff. At all. Okay, they're all over there. They each have a piece of Thor's armor. Show me high points. This one is closest to here.
Deal with some crazy. Smells of burnt peat. What did Pete ever do to them? Desecrated with a rage I have rarely seen. What battle spit you out? Don't look like they can talk. The guilty have come for spoils. Was our dignity not enough? You return again to mock our family. To make light of my father's sacrifice. <coughs> Master, you have no fight with me. Which of the traitor kings sent you? Was it Edmund? Burgage? Anna? I followed the orders of no king. Nor will I bow to you. You dare intrude? You will be skinned like the others! I will tear you apart! Thanks. Although I don't know how that's a dagger, but I'll take it.
Okay, there's that. Should be another one. Oh, good. It's already marked. Thanks for the follow. Oh, doing pretty good. Uh, finish the main story now. Just gonna do some other things before I start Ragnarok, the expansion DLC, whatever we're gonna call it. How about you? How you doing? Fight. <laughs> Some of the people have done not so well here. I've seen such violence before. you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead. Now I open the scars of my heart. Say they using troll. Breathe deeply. Watch as I become smoke and listen as I break your bones. Sounds annoying. A greater darkness fuels my rage. Spirit of my father's rage, fill me! Breathe in flame but the fire. How can this be?
Refresh your demons. I got all kinds of new daggers, I guess. Those don't look like daggers to me. It looks more like a sword. What do I know? of the daughters is that one. An enemy with a power of 340 in an area that is a power of 55. It's like they were asking to kill me when I first stumbled upon her. Drop that. They always mess with me. It's as if the glowing spear wasn't a dead giveaway. That you just want to leave me alone. for this one. Map Genie's right, this is the strongest of the three. Neglected by the Valkyries. Another tortured soul. You were drugged. Away with all this. Yeah. 
I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Got three of the pieces for Thor's armor. But where are the other ones? was an interesting fight. Wasn't it? Okay, Thor's helmet, magistrate mask, plank and buckler. No, oh, there's a longsword. I needed one of those earlier. Fallen hero greaves, magister's cloak, huntsman's breeches, Carl's axe, kite shield. Okay, well, Thor's helmet is... There. This. This is Thor's helmet. So, let's go get it. If I get all of Thor's armor, I can get Mjolnir. And who doesn't want to smack somebody with Mjolnir? Valid. I'm already getting to stab them with Gungnir. <laughs> Let's, let's also smack them with Mjolnir. All the nears. Road of morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Don't attack a Viking. Seems like a good lesson. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of Vikings left. 
really any that I'm aware of. But who knows, maybe there's some hiding somewhere. fill in the rest of the skill tree art. Yes, yes I am. 100%. I've looked through and found all the things that really help my my playstyle. So at this point, I'm just going to start filling it in. <laughs> I, I like my graphics, Evac. Um I think, I think I'm good, but thank you. underground things, isn't it? Crap. Okay. Is this the entrance? Seems kind of far. I'll check down here. It's more like it'd be on the edge of the water. thing telling me where this is. Use a secret entrance to get underground and traverse your way with large inner chain. Yep, it is that. That secret entrance. Well, crap. Okay. What? Hey, over. Wow. That's really f I gotta it's do really some. Really far secret entrance. I know. I gotta do some <laughs> underground walking. I guess. I needed three special daggers to. Unlock this thing. Lucky, I got those three special daggers by murdering uh, the crazy women. Yeah. Torch. that 
Glory awaits. The alliance we have forged is sealed by our mutual affection for the ancients and the power they bequeath. Have no doubts. The Mercian throne will be yours. Soon your great line of woofingas will be restored to a power they have not seen in generations. Give thanks to the ancient ones for what is to come. And summon all of those spirits that give us strength. Ready your feared and await my signal. And do give my fond wishes to your beloved daughter Cordelia. Alia Rex of Northumbria. Uh, bad news. I killed Cordelia. A nice flooded catacomb. It's just like being in it's all over again. Eh, less rats. Yeah. I had to say that, and then you, you fuckers had to squeak, didn't you? Perfect timing. Well done, you little shits. <laughs> They're like, you called? Way too big to be a dagger. Next. I have a dagger from the bog lady. It may go here. Okay. What is the difference between a swamp and a bog? There, there is a difference. Hold on. Blade I took from the Lady of the Crag. It may fit. The differences. A swamp is a wetland that is flooded and has more. A swamp receives water from rivers or streams and has some drainage. A swamp supports woody plant, uh, plants such as mangroves or cypress trees. A bog is a wetland that has more peat, mosses than trees. A bog receives water from precipitation and has no outflow. And a bog is formed by peat, mosses, and dead plants, mainly a type of moss. Hmm. Oh, okay. We got a note. Faded letter. A blood rotted pile of curses down the throne of treasonous Leofwine, thunder and lightning of Thunor. Upon the peaty head of pious Edmund, a scourge of Dane spears in the bloated guts of galling Ayla. Black curses on you all for defying so great a man. Lyrian father, Lyrian king, Lyrian divine, we will devour all those who defied him. RGC. His daughter's initials. Yeah, well. The king's fortune, guarded well by his people. <laughs> Thor's helmet. Oh, I got all the treasure in East Anglia. That's nice. Something. I find it interesting that they all have the same initials and one has the same uh, name as Air. <laughs> okay, Thor's cloak shows up back at Ravensthorpe. 
Reveal Ilford the Father. Oh, hold on. And complete the quest. Okay. Oh, great. I've got to kill all of the, uh, the rest of the order. Elimination all the zealot. Eliminate all their ancient order members, including Sister Base with Shadow. Got all those. Okay, so I don't get that until I get. It's cool though. So I've got the rest of the Thor set. Increased speed when stunning an enemy, additional increase to stun. That's. That'll work well with the hammer. How does high right, gear? Okay, that's pretty cool looking. Same bracers. Ah, Thor's gauntlets. Breaches. Can't see much of them, but still pretty cool looking. For now, back to my Raven Clan armor. I don't get a lot of low health anymore, but it does give me increased crit chance. So. Okay. Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good job. Oh. Marshall. Okay, that's. I would like to see what you have in stock. You like the looks of that one? Can't enhance that anymore. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Species. Egyptian, Byzantine, Mistrotic, Celtic. Ah, Thor's gauntlets. There we are. Let's see upgrade. She does not change at all. All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Does it upgrade the look with the no it does not. Okay. That's kind of boring. You have a keen eye for quality. No, not that. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Is that what you want? Nope. Thor's breaches. They're just pants with greaves on them. That's ah, that one's pretty good. Okay, that's 
that's all, I guess. I'm done for now. I have to go. See you soon. Okay. Ready sing of your deeds and my crop. So, let's go start murdering our way through the order. Start, oh, we'll go with that one. He's the last in a little section there. Out near London. I gotta show my cloak again. Helmet's cool, but I like the look without the helmet. there. back random cult member I just want to talk to you and stab you that's probably not gonna get him to come back Moody you too. Stop running, cult <laughs> member. They're just gonna die tired. I don't uh, know I think, why they bother. I think this one's on a horse, so he's gonna die and his horse is gonna be tired. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, look at that. We both have spears. Mine's cooler, though. Taste that wall. Try again. I don't think you, you enjoyed it enough. I'm a spear. That was actually really cool. <laughs> All of these men of God, festooned in gold and silver. It is enough to make one blind. We are blind of now. Lanius was our only king. He saw straight, and fought alongside our curious. We have been blind ever since. Arturius. Clive Barker's character from King Arthur, which was an awesome movie. I finished that off. That's nice. Woofa. Woof. Uh. For the moment, you're right by there. How far away will you be when I get there? Where'd you run? Mm, not too far, I guess. something. Can you go away? were the last one left and you couldn't run away. Oh, almost last one left. Sorry. Where do you come from? I murdered my way through all your friends as an afterthought. Leave me alone.
Villalaus, now you die. My... My sword is lost. Floating down a creek. I shall follow. Till I dance again. Or drown. Okay. That's, um, something. Oh, more skills. East Anglia. Hey, I found all the wealth here. How Viking of me. You missed. You missed again. Okay, you got me that time. Creeping. Be 
Ripping off his face with the axe was epic. Took nine glory twigs. Indeed. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? Only a charm I never finished. Y'all say weird shit. Uh, skills. No, not skills. Abilities. That's what I wanted. Fire. Okay. Finish those. Start up here. Next. Well, I mean, we gain access to them, which means we see them, which means somebody imagined them, therefore, they're not unimaginable. missed a little bit. on the ground on fire does not confirm the kill. I see. That's, you must stab them with the little knife. These old worlds I used to lie down and pray that the leaves would cover me. That I could drag them over me like a blanket and join to new knots in a bed of weeds. Joy canker. The sound of Odin stumping on your bones. Is that is an unfortunate song. name. I did you a favor by killing you. this one. Up here. Oh. Isn't it nice when they're close to fast travel? It is, but they never stay there. They're always there for a little bit and then they move. Yeah. And you gotta go hunt them down.
because, you know, you're both trying to kill each other and just they're not very good at it. Another one, come on. I dare you. Very climactic when they just this is fall a over. Moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret yes, torment. They battled so My hard to fall over. Losing to whatever you are. You reap of fading glory. You reek of death. Your own. Hmm. One of us wins. Oh no, I killed Cola. Was his first name Coca? I have no idea. I'm, I'm almost done with all the red. Yay! Then I'll have to figure out whatever the next color will be. Oh, I, I was able to finish Phoebe's storyline. Oh, that's good. Or, sort of. Or not last night this morning. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. It was sad, but it's done, so. She gets to go on to the act to a better afterlife. <laughs> yes, to hang out with Persephone. With Persephone, I, I don't know. That's better. Well, it's not like Persephone different. actually hangs out with them. A prettier landscape, yes. Hmm. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. Wares? 
I can ride a werewolf? Nope, oh, already finished all that. Okay, that'd be awesome. Everything Wouldn't it? For no. I don't know how that would work, but... No, I've got the various horses I can buy. I've got the, the wolf I've currently got. I've also got a giant lynx or a bear. Decisions, decisions. There's people should be terrified of. It's the bear. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, they shouldn't be terrified of the giant horse-sized wolf. <laughs> <laughs> well, of the three oversized animals... Let's be honest. Well, all I'm saying is, is the wolf... The wolf can't climb trees. Can I tempt you with something else? I must be on my way now. So, out of the three predators, it's the the worst one for anybody in the woods. All right. Come on, bear. Oh, you you kind of a small bear. Hmm. But we will surprise people, because bears don't look like they would be very fast. One should not underestimate them. <laughs> they don't look like they should be fast. They are, though. <laughs> They're very fast. They really are. <laughs> puppies don't make me hurt you because I will It's the cold. Whatever will I do? I guess fair is fair. You poison me, I burn you. There you go.
those crazy clouds all along the road. Other people ride through here, you know. I often awake in my vagrancy shaking and sweating. Oh, this stops now. Farewell, the trolls are waiting. We're almost there. Once I get the last of these, I get to figure out, I get to go kill the father. Scroll, 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 keep scrolling, scroll some more. All right, well, let's hope you're traveling towards I doubt it, but let's see. They see me. This will get messy. You're a biggin'. Cleaned all the rats in London. That had to take a while. Rats have a certain freedom, but they feed on shit. It's a coward's freedom. A hard horror of the vanquished.
We sweat and toil to reach this moment. The ancient ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. This god, or that. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones. Two more zealots. It's fun when things don't work.
We're almost there. We're the almost there. Of Asia, we honor your type, Pagan. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be Pagan is perfect. <laughs> Last one. Really? They named him Woden. Hmm. What was that? All from the relay's message for the sickle. Not for long. Time to deal with you idiots. Just go away. Oh, there was there.
hack and punch. <clears throat> Magister Magnus forgives me. So long I looked to him for guidance, for order. If your honor is slow, a true lord cannot forgive you. They cannot. Uh, now I will turn my gaze to Warden, Tiwar, and Funor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. You will spin and drill yourself to an endless bottom. killed everyone in the order. Continue the story to find the next clue. They still, they still continue on. No. I've killed everyone but the father. Yep, this quest has been here forever. Let's go get this done. I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have, Octavian of London. I have a guess who your friend is, and no, Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert, a name fit for a poor failure. It will cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. Give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is. Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the legionnaire.
and only because you all have such good taste. Now, this this one begins a long time ago at a desert away. Yeah. We'll go back to the wolf. I have something new to show you. May I see your stores? I must take my leave. So long. Bye, Eivor. Octavian. I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you! Here you are. More relics for your collection. Let me see what you have. Wonderful. And here is something for you. Bring me more like this. I'll see you later, friend. Valley, Eivor. What was that? Maximilian's accusations. Do you think that note was you, Osbert? Oh yes, I know your true name. Sending your little minion after me to pilfer a statue, how typical of you. Yet despite your disrespect, I will not seek restitution, for if you must stoop so low as to steal from me to enrich your own paltry collection, then I do believe that my superiority is already proven. You are pathetic. Maximilian. P.S. You reek of piss, as does your brutish associate. I guess at least he was smart enough not to say such stupid things in front of Eivor. contact you in Norway. He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. Hytham, this will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours. Imagine the real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together, I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd. He loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. I cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, was toying with you, it seems. I have to go. Then go in peace. Hmm. I really thought I'd have to give him uh, more, more medallions. Okay. I guess I need to get the last one.
message has come. Letters. Odo's letter. Eivor, once again you have earned my respect. Do not question. Dispatching of Charles, it had to be done. It was honorable and just. You hold to your part in our agreement, and so I will hold to mine. When the rebellion succeeds and I take the throne, you can be assured of an alliance with Francia. More than that, you have my good faith and my friendship, Count Odo. Pleasure to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Well, looks like we only got one more Shire to go. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold, and very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance, as will Alfred. Is Kuthram Yal there with his army? He is. He and Oba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. <coughs> It's not the way that worked out, but, uh, well. We go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather on the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it, Eivor? You must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving would be our doom. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Well, that sounds, uh... Nice. Fast travel point. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Summer. There is an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilt? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this ford is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come. I will take you to him. <sighs> Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teeth, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. 
Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. We need not ask for a good win. We will take it, as we have taken all the kingdoms of England. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, you will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be. Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true. Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside, so let the betrayer be betrayed. We will burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Come on, I need you to run over there and jump. Hey, not there! Hey, Bor, you're, you're annoying me. There we go. Oh. Good, I needed that.
Jet, need to get on the other side. Rain silo.
This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We need now. Sam? We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. It will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes, that is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Mm. Alfred spoke of Chippen, a Scot hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uber lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them. We will not lose more friends today. Where they held. A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Oh, bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred at his heels. Revenge burns within me. Once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, and strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Atheist. I to hide in my darkest times, my friend. And see. Sigurd. And Sigurd. He is back with you. Rather, story is a long one before another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler, Wes is harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, I I have come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. <laughs>
course you are trying to go backwards. in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. Do you think he kept his word? He swore he would not kill them. I cannot say for certain. I had to hand them over. Alfred demanded it. We will save them, Guthrum. Stay calm. Can you see your men? No, but we must keep looking. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. <laughs> they left them with their weapons? Of my thanks, <clears throat> That's extra dumb. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. We'll have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to our camp near Chippenham. There. These are my men. I told you Guthrum wouldn't leave us here to rot. Come <laughs> on. 
That's not what I... Okay. Here, go over there. Out of the way. There we go. Free prisoners. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. Good. We pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. I missed a key. You miss a key? No, never. Never do that. <sighs> All right, like, hey. Snark is my thing, okay? It's copyrighted. You can't use it. Since when? Since when is it copyrighted? Uh, yesterday. Uh-huh. As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't... I don't, I don't think you, you believe me. You did a great deed here. Your oh, it won't well, give you that impression. I need no thanks, Kuthrub. Let us speak more when we are uh, safely Because away. people never believe me. Not sure why. You've no idea. Not hmm? at all. You sure? I'm pretty sure. can't think of a single reason. No. Nothing comes to mind. We're safe here. Let us speak with them. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery, your leadership, I you wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. He is free of Fulke's torment. And at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed, black, furrowed earth. And blood, seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Uh, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp.
there I am. Oh, hold on. Gotta run back down here. Because there's still a chain across the river. Can't allow that. Alfred spoke of Uba being his enemy in the river, west of Athatun. I fear the worst. I must know. There's an abbey right there. It'd be a shame not to raid it.
what I wanted to do. Why must bodies be in the way? Hey! Can't do this alone! Come on. Somebody help me open the door. Oh. Cheat from the well. The true king is a Christian king. Do not listen to the Anglicans and the Saxons who torment us with warrior oaths and tales unexplained by God and his rule. Saint Male Dub left us his reliquaries full of the great words he left teaching from Bed and Saint Wilfred. They fill the Malmesbury Monastery and the ch and the church at Reading or Reading, sorry. For Male Dub and the early heroes of our Christian spirit, their pilgrimages trace out the lands upon every blade of grass. Their pious feet can still be smelt. Amen, Gildas the Wise. Why are you sniffing grass trying to find people's feet? Because that's just weird. That's super weird. That's... Is that a kink or something? Is I think so. Disturbing? I think it might be. <sighs> hey, you probably need therapy for that. I make a point not to kink shame anyone with a reasonable kink, but uh, people in defeat, it's okay to kink shame them. Everyone knows that. Kill me. They told me so. No, oh, they didn't live long enough to keep their promise. That's just a shame.
killing my Vikings. Slashed and disemboweled by sharp weapons. Saxon blade from the look of it. Get They always in the way. Kill. I tried to just run past and got overrun by people. That's not good. May you speed on to your father's feast. Keys. They're all dead.
Well, if they didn't want to be attacked, they wouldn't have camped right by the river. my old friend. And I see you've convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all the glory for herself. Ljuvina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. You Eva, the lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of the I hope the death will be pleased. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt. And yet, you came. London is quiet enough. Stowe here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Did not let you down, Eivor. It's not what an honorable man does. So here I am despite my reservations. And you, brother, I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother, sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. <laughs> oh, that's not good for our enemies. Vinir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, grieving at your side? How do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delight be ours, then. You have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready, and my heart stout. Tefdek, it is good to see you. Oh, I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bands fight. I am all a-quiver with anticipation. I hope the death will be clear. You such cheat, Andrew. Turn. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Vili, what tales are you weaving for these soft down Saxons? Do not make me regret supporting your Yaldum. Hey, Roar. You know I will take your childhood scrapes and secrets to the pyre. Good. I would hate for something to happen to you in the coming fight. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we will feast together in victory. You soft cheat and your boy. Have you brought them? Giedrich, after Rochester. I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. I would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. Have you brought the mother to My mother. I long to. Day or love, you have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. 
Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Is worth ten of your men. This last I do not hope doubt. The dead will be I have seen those strong I Saxon hands. Cluck it round the heart. All right, get some more water and continue this. We need to do to do. Get it. Come on.
There it goes. Can you hear me? No, I thought not. Back the audio. There it goes. And sometimes the everything does not want to work Eivor, right. you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. Well, at least you didn't lose screen, screen on you. Valid. I think the shield that dude's working on is just a lost cause. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness, that is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. Whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then yeah. quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. All young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. We we'll capture the things. There will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolat and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the things. Rhoda, take Erka and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our paths. May they blunt their swords against our might.
No reason to leave any guards standing. Well, I don't think I'm going in there. I'll have to get whatever that piece of armor or weaponry is later. Understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your shoeless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst. Strike down all of England to subdue her. 
Let it begin with you. Oh Lord, into your hands I commit my spirit. I think it's time to go back to a good old axe.
fighting with the rest! These men will not surrender! I want you to talk to Slog and barricade himself behind that door here! I will find a way in! do better than that. There were only a half dozen of you.
gonna do about it bleed on me Speak to those still living. Your first battle, little rich. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you didn't seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwall die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you'll be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eva. No more. Lovin. Gods, I, I did not know. Is, is he? Hush. What good can words do, Eva? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers, I give thanks no more. Your fingers in my hair, no more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter, all color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart. Ends with you. What is left? We'll go on. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you could always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Avon. Wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks you live forever. My 
thanks, though. You came to my aid, and you were free to turn away. Still, it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. We fought for peace. I'm proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. Erkay, you wear a thorough brow. So is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he's tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe you will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erkay. Not the city watch. He is in good hands. Godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your mm. Christ will smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. If only. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Beelov, Gidrich. There's a soul there about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your God taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be that you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path, and I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. Now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Do not share that with them. Victory is ours. And it came at a great cost. So my Asguna, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, shall live on in our memories, from now till the end of days. And to your warrior, 
husband and friend. He made the ultimate sacrifice. I hear repay it. And to Runewald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Uthram. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumbled through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I have made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear field upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it, a plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its light before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should have sent to Swanborough and tell her of whom all's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger.
It's a fine day, eh, Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't, Don't say, say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My home! No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! fought bravely and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Humboldt died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh gods, I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He was among warriors now. Yes, the lucky man. I imagine he does. I know where it's hard for salve for a wounded heart. I'll leave you tomorrow. I know that we are here for you. Always, should you need us. something for you. A, a message. message. What's strange? Uh, good boy. Something for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest. A village called Athelney. Nothing strange about the summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, a mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bastin feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I'll take care of this. Eivor, the Raven Clan of Mercia. The Order of the Ancients is all but destroyed, and your good works in England are all but complete. One heathen yet remains. The Grand Magister of this contemptible order. If you wish to finish your work, come to Althony, in the northwest of Hemmentshire, and we will discuss the means by which you find this last elusive target. Blessings upon you, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Well, I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. My love. Hemmentshire has fallen. With the kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then, you have earned it. On the backs of so many, time will tell if it was worth it. And I'm going to save and quit there, because it's almost 2 in the morning. Uh, so, everybody watching, I uh, hope you had fun. Uh, I will be back on this tomorrow, uh, about the same time, about 9.30 Central. Uh, if you're not following, please do, let's you know when, we in, when I get online. And until then, until tomorrow, have a good night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are.